Now let's talk a little bit about the nature of this leadership. First of all, it's completely spontaneous. That is, there is no ordered succession. There is no means by which this leader is chosen. The leader just arises from the midst of the people and is recognized as having these qualities. Second, and here's you'll see the significance for our class, anybody can be such a leader. There is no distinction in terms of class. You can be poor, you can be rich, or anything in between. There is no distinction in terms of age. This kind of a leader can either be young or old or anything in between. There is no distinction, and this is a strange one, between in nationality. We actually have some of these leaders whose uh, Israelite connection is really questionable, who might not even be Israelites, although the people recognize that Yahweh has anointed, has prepared this one to lead them. And here's what's most important for us. It is not chosen with regard to gender. So here we have a unique circumstance, not absolutely unique, but significantly unique. Here we have a unique circumstance where we actually can have a woman leading Israel. And that's what's going to be important for us, is that this is a time in Israel's history, as patriarchal as the system of eldership is, when the people recognize that Yahweh has chosen and empowered a person, when they claim that person as such, that person can be a woman. So here is a unique situation, not totally unique because Miriam would fit into this as well, but here we have a unique situation where a woman can lead Israel. So we're going to need to pay very careful attention to instances of this. There is no distinction with regard to gender.